interest in Red Belt products. My name is Heather Strong and I am a senior engineer here at Red Belt. Today I would like to talk to you about one of our most popular products, the Open Web Pin Connected Truss. Art Troutner, one of Red Belt's founding fathers, invented this worn style wood composite and steel truss over 50 years ago. The objective today is to give you a high level overview of this type of truss including the material composition and how these components work and fit together. Currently, Red Belt manufactures five truss series, the Red L and Red W mono cord series, and the Red S, Red M, and Red H double cord series. Let's talk about truss materials first. The open web trusses are comprised primarily of three components, wood cords, steel webs, and steel pins. The truss cords are made of either machine stress rated lumber ranging from 2100 to 2700 pounds per square inch bending stress or Red Lamb LVL laminated veneer lumber. The steel webs are made of circular steel tubing with a minimum yield strength of 45 KSI. They have a G60 hot dipped galvanized coating. They range from 13 to 19 gauge with diameters varying from 1 inch to 2 inch depending on truss series and load demands. The steel pins used in the open web trusses have diameters ranging from 3 8 inch to inch and a quarter for our heaviest truss series. Let's look at the most popular truss series, the Red L Truss, to see how these components fit and work together. First, the web material is cut to design lengths. Each end of the web is flattened and pin punched to the diameter of the pins. The truss cord is then routed and a hole is drilled to match the exact diameter of the truss pin. The truss pins are then pneumatically driven through the truss cord and the web ends at each panel point. This pin connection works to keep moment forces from developing in the cord it keeps the wood fiber out of cross grain tension and limits the degradation of the truss cord under cyclical loading. Open web trusses are optimized to create both an efficient and cost effective design. Each truss is designed with two different diameter pins, multiple sized webs, and the flexibility of different grades of truss cord. So how does varying the material sizes and grades help? Let's look at our model. The shear forces are the greatest at the bearing locations, and they decrease toward the center of the truss. Therefore, heavier gauge webs and diameters are used at the truss ends, and smaller web gauges and diameters are used toward the center of the truss. In our model, the webs that are in tension are painted orange, and the webs that are in compression are painted green. The steel pin diameters are the largest at the bearing locations where their job is to transfer the shear forces from the webs into the truss cords. The steel pin diameters are the smallest toward the center of the truss where the most wood fiber is critical. The top cord of an open web truss is being compressed like a column. And the bottom cord of an open web truss is in tension where the fibers are being pulled apart like a tight rope in a tug of war. Since its introduction in 1960, the open web truss has become the most widely used engineered wood product in commercial construction. It is lightweight, easy to install, and has nailable cords for easy attachment of roof decking and ceiling materials. Red built open web trusses are versatile. They can be designed to support exceptionally long spans they can be manufactured for profiles that are curved, pitched, scissored, or barreled. They provide opportunity for innovative designs that can be aesthetically pleasing. Every open web truss is custom manufactured to the precise specifications of the individual job to carry the load for which it was designed. I'm out. Yes. Hello, I'm Kurt Liebick and I'm the CEO of Red Built and this is my friend Red our company mascot. We appreciate you taking time to learn about our company and we both approve of this message.